and there was I, unbeknownst to me, replaying this, which set her off. It's called Passing Strange. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet, I quote it. That's neat, she sweetly smiled. That's Shakespeare. I whispered in her ear and kissed her sweet, sweet smile, each reflected in the other's eye. Oh, quote me that kiss again, she sighed. How I do love thee, I cried. Let me count the kisses, she replied, my lovely darling. Thank you. So happy birthday, Mr. Well. Um, I had to go back to Ireland, been back and forth to Ireland many times. My dad got sick, he got ill, he brought into hospital and he died. And this was Nace Hospital. And outside Nace Hospital is the old workhouse. And outside the old workhouse is a big, huge pond come nature reserve for all swans and myriads of ducks congregate. So I used to be in the hospital from morning to night and uh, when anybody came I would leave so that he wouldn't be crowded out and I used to go and uh, sit with the swans and my dad used to always say have you been talking to the swans don't know and I used to say yeah dad I've been talking to the swans so this is called I have no gifts to bring uh, the lady in question doesn't actually make it into the poem although she's the reason for the title and for the whole concept of gifts as well as seeing a whole lot of swans all around the place I've never seen 50 swans all together in one place. Uh, a very large bosomed lady ran by in pink spandex that she was obviously poured into and you'd have to get a, a tin opener to get her out. And while she jogged along, she had her earphones in and she was in a world of her own and it was March and she was singing along to what she was listening to which was the little drummer boy. I have no <laughs> gifts to bring pa 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 pum pum And I was thinking, my God, Christmas songs in the middle of March. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So that's why and I, uh, my brothers got all the talents, I'm afraid. They got all the gifts, uh, all the practical ability with their hands. Uh, I can't hammer a nail in or change a light bulb, Janice and do all that sort of stuff. Uh, my other brother got all the musical talent. All I inherited was his smile and his love of words. So all I could do was go out and he'd say, have you been talking to the sun's son, or to the swan's son? And I'd say, yeah, dad, and uh, what did you see? And of course, he's never going to see the world again, so any little bit reported from the world is precious, if that's all you're ever going to have or ever going to see ever again. So this is called, I have no gifts to bring. I bring him back bits of the world like a child would. Broken green glass amongst the grass, like grass on fire with green. A cat that yawns, and every time it yawns, it has the bark of an invisible dog, sound and sight synchronised for a laugh. A swan sitting on a park bench, as if it were a park bench for swans only. All these useless bits of broken world that my father will never see, I carry them back in words like a child trying to capture the sea in a blue bucket, trying not to spill a single thing that's seen back to Nace General Hospital. Offer them up like treasure as only the child I was could. And then and now your smile treating them as wondrous to behold. Is the world so, you say? It is so, I say, both as man and boy. The glass grins, shining in the sun like a little green fire. A cat caught mid-yawn by some ventriloquist dog in a lonely backyard. A swan who thinks it's human. You smile at these gifts I bring such little things to offer to your dying. Thank you.